to the First Baptist Sunday School. I want to thank God for the children, their parents, because they, <clears throat> they're talking out of their memory of what Christmas means to them. And we know what Christmas means to us. It was a, it was a great day in the life of the believer because our Savior was born. Even though we're going through dark days now, our hope is in Jesus. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. We just pray that our children will continue to look up and believe and hold on to the Savior's hand. And wish you all a merry, merry Christmas. This is the First Baptist Church Sunday School of Spring Valley, New York. As we venture into a new world of learning with the youth of First Baptist Church, our first virtual online video recorded by the youth and the Sunday School program at 9 a.m. on December 20th is in the hands of our youth. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Christ story of a Savior that was born into the world by the Spirit of God. And God revealed that to two, un, to two ordinary people, Joseph and Mary. And as a shepherd watched in their field by night, and lo, the angels of the Lord shone around them, and they were so afraid. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you a savior, and he shall be called Emmanuel. God is with us. Enjoy the program. Signing off, First Baptist Church, Spring Valley, New York, under the dynamic leadership of the Reverend Dr. Welber Matt Williams, Jr. Good morning, church. Our mistress of ceremony is a young lady who loves church, adores her family. She's a leader and loves to cook. This young lady needs no further introduction. Please welcome my sister, Dejan. We now have scripture reading John chapter 1, verse 9 through 10 by Rohan Buckley, followed by John chapter 1, 11 through 14 by Narisha Kelly, the word became flesh. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger because there was no room in the inn. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they, and they were so afraid. For unto you is born this day in the city of in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel 
a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us know, go, go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And when they had seen him, they made known aboard the saying which was told them concerning this child. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard. Close your eyes and bow your heads, please. Lord, I thank you for another day. I thank you for getting us through this year. I thank you for giving us the health and the strength. Um, bless our pastor in this church. Uh, bless our families. And happy birthday. This Christmas Amen. celebration, youth sends service for the skit. Sit back and relax and allow the Holy Spirit bring forth the Christmas story, the birth of Jesus again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In the beginning Everyone. was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or husband will, but born of God. The word become flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father full of grace and truth.
sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin Iraq, to a man whose name was Joseph, as of the house of David, the virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. But when he saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of reading this was. You have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, therefore, also the Holy One who, who is to be born will be and called. Blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of these things, which were her told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my salvation, for He hath regarded the low estate of His handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth. All generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Amen. These things to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent birds away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors.
And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star had appeared. And then he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I also may come and worship him. When they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star that they had seen, when it rose, went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and
unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Jesus. Counselor, Jesus. the Mighty God, Jesus. the Everlasting Father, Jesus. the Prince of Peace. Jesus. Philippians 2 verse 9 Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every verse 10 that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth Philippians 2 verse 11 and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Isaiah 51 verse 11 those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow will flee away. Isaiah 51 verse 11. Yeah, 5 verse 12. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Isaiah 55. Good morning. My name is Kayla Nelson, and I'll be giving a summary of today's lesson. The reading you heard was from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 15. In chapter 2 of Matthew, we met the wise men and learned about the birth of Christ. God messaged the wise men to not tell King Herod about the birth of Christ, so they didn't. And another dream, God appeared to them and said not to go back to King Herod. So they went another pathway. Joseph then saw God in a dream saying that he needs to leave Egypt and take his family with them. King Herod wants to kill the newborn. After they left, King Herod couldn't find his wise men or, or the baby Jesus. So he declared that all the children Two and under should be killed. King Herod soon died, and Joseph was able to bring his family back home to Nazareth. My first Baptist Sunday school and my first Baptist family. Um, today I'm going to be working and showing you a Christmas piece that I've been working on for a while.
Thank mm-hmm. you.